hello all of you now we are going to discuss with the topic procedural query language so um, here relational database system are expected to equip with the query language that can assist its users to query the database instances so there are two kinds of query languages relational algebra and relational calculus so first we will see relational algebra so relational algebra it uses the operators to perform what queries so operator can be unary or binary so here the fundamental operations of relational algebra are given as follows first one is select project union set difference cartesian product and rename now select operation so for select operation so what is actually select operation it select the tuples that satisfy the given predicate from a relation for that uh, we have to use here sigma so sigma stands for what selection predicates r stands for what relation and p is the propositional logic formula so we can use here different connectors like and or and not now here see this example see um, we can select subject is equal to what database from where from book so here output is select the tuples from the books where subject is what database now next we can select subject equal to database and so here see operator or connectors so here subject is database and price is 450 so we can select the books having what subject database and price equal to 450 now again here we can select subject equal to database and price is equal to 450 or year is greater than 2010 so here condition is what here condition and means both have to satisfy or means maybe out of this you can satisfy either year is greater than 2010 or database subject is equal to database and price is equal to 450 now project operation so what is actually project operation it projects the column that satisfies a given predicate this is very important for that here see the example project subject and author from where from book so here we can select select and project the columns name as subjects and author from where relation books now after that union operation is there so it performs what binary union between what two given relation and it is defined as r union s so r and s are what either the database relation or relation result set now see here example here consider this author from where books union with means combined with what author from where articles so here it projects what it projects the names of the authors we have either written a book or an article or both so this is what actually union operation now set difference so what is actually set difference it is set difference operation is tuples which are present in one relation but are not in the second one so here see example suppose r minus 7 r minus s so here find all the tuples that are present in r but not in s because we have to subtract here s from r now see here author from where books we have to select or project author from article so here condition is what set difference now see it will provide the names of the authors who have written the books but not the articles so this actually set difference now cartesian product so what actually cartesian product it is nothing but the combining the information of two different relation into what one so here r multiplied by x so this is what cartesian so r and s are the relation now see here this is one of the example here we have to select what author is equal to what abc from where books and articles it means that it yields a relation which shows all the books and articles written by what this abc author so this is nothing but the cartesian product next one is rename operation so rename uh, for that see the result of relational algebra are also relations but without any name so we can rename the name so rename operation allows us to rename the output relation so rename operation is denoted with the small greek letter rho this now here see result of this expression e is saved with the name of what x so here we can rename this operation by what x now additional operations are set intersection is there assignment is there and natural join is there now next is non procedural query language so under this first is relational calculus is there so relational calculus it comes under what non procedural query language now 
relational calculus exists in two forms which one tupper relational calculus it is denoted trc or filtering variable names range over the tuples now see here notation is t is tuple here there is a condition so it returns all the tuples t that satisfies this condition now see the example t dot name here condition is what author of t and t dot article is equal to what database so article is compulsory here database so it returns what tuples with the name from the author who has written the article on database this is the condition so here tupper relation calculus is there now after this see domain relational calculus so in domain relational calculus see the filtering variable uses the domain of attributes instead of what entire the tuple values now see here here a1 a2 so on up to an these are called as attributes and p stands for what the formula built by this inner attribute now see this example under this article page subject now here condition is what there exists abc it is uh, so here subject is what subject is equal to database now it yields what what it yields article page and subject from the relation what abc where condition is what subject equal to database now next one is uh, join so sql join uh, it is used to combine the records from the two or more tables in a database so we can join two tables a join is a means for combining the fields from two tables by using the values common to each this is important huh? so consider the following two table customer table and order table so here customer is having customer id name age address and salary now here order table is there here oid date customer id is there and amount is there so see customer id common is common is to what both this table see customer table here and order table here so here query is select id name age amount from both the table customers and orders table where condition is what customer dot id is equal to orders dot customer id now uh, last point is uh, there are different types of joins available in sql uh, which one inner join uh, it returns what rows when there is a match in both the tables so this is inner join left join returns all the rows from the what left table even if there are no matches in the right table means for example left table is what customer so in case of left join it returns all the rows from what customer table what is right join it returns all the rows from the right table that is suppose order table even if there are no matches in the left table pull join it returns the rows when there is a match in one of the tables self join it is used to join a table to itself and last one is cartesian join it returns the cartesian product of the sets of records from the two or more join table okay now we will stop here